Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing just a classic chatty get ready with me because it has been a while and I just felt like sitting down and talking to you guys and doing my makeup. So that's what we're gonna do. Today is a Sunday. I'm going to the farmer's market and probably just doing some work, maybe running some errands. So this is gonna be a very easy going makeup look, which is very convenient because this video is sponsored by Glossier, which is basically the peak of easy going makeup. I love their products. If you followed me for a long time, you would know how much I love their products. They've had a lot of new releases lately, so I'm really excited to share my opinions on those products with you guys if you haven't had a chance to pick them up yet, because some of them have become my everyday favorites. I've been testing these products for like two weeks before this so that I would have properly formed opinions. Thank you guys so much for sending me questions on Instagram. I have so many, so I'm gonna get to those in a second, but first I'm gonna bring the camera in a little bit so you can see these products on my face. We're very close now. Hello. The first product I'm going to apply is the Glossier Future Dew, which is a new product and it's basically a primer. They call it an oil serum hybrid that you put under your makeup that will make you look glowy, which I obviously was interested in because I love looking glowy. But what I was really amazed by was how much better it made my skin look because I've been dealing with a lot of like winter dryness and like gross dry patches where like my skin is literally peeling off. If you guys have dry skin or if you get dry skin in the winter, like you know the struggle and pretty much no matter what I do when I apply makeup, it just looks flaky uh, during the winter and I hate it. It makes me self-conscious. My skin looks really dull and sad. And I tried out this product under my foundation and it just made a world of a difference. Like by the end of the day, my makeup didn't even look like I had been wearing it all day where usually by the end of the day, like it would be disgusting and creased. I just, I think it will convince everyone that I actually have healthy oily skin um, as opposed to reptile skin. It also recommends putting a little extra on the high points of your face, but I'm also going to put extra where I tend to get really dry. So for me, that is around my nose and on my chin. I've tried a lot of glowy primers in the past and they'll usually look good when I first apply them, but by the end of the day, it's just like still not holding up. But this one actually made a huge difference. It lasts all day. So highly recommend trying this out if you have dry skin or if you have dry patches or deal with dullness. And then to answer some of your questions, I've been getting a lot of questions about people facing their last year of college, which I totally understand is the most stressful time ever. I had so many health problems because of my stress that year. I talked about it in my little like post-grad what am I doing with my life video so I'll put that above if you haven't seen it. But yeah it's a hard time. I feel like that feeling really lasts for the entirety of senior year which is unfortunate. I thought it would maybe come towards the end but it really lasted the whole time. I'm also applying the Perfecting Skin Tint in G11. This foundation is very lightweight, which some people might like, some people might not like. I think it's really nice for light days like today where I'm just running errands and maybe I want a little coverage, but I'm not, you know, doing like a full day of work or anything. Back to feeling scared about graduating. I feel like now that I've graduated, I wish that I stressed less about it, which is hard to say because in the moment you really can't help how stressful it is. Secondly, it's also super normal to not know what you're doing, even like a few months out of graduating. So I feel like that pressure, I wish it was less intense because I know that I felt it as well. It's okay to not know what you're doing and to live at home or work like a regular job. I only lived at home post-grad for like two months maybe, and I definitely could have stayed there longer. Anywhere where you can get free rent, get your free rent while you can. I definitely rushed into finding something and I do love what I'm doing. Um, I'm working part-time and I'll talk more about that in a second. What I'm trying to say is it's very normal to not know what you're doing. No one knows what they're doing and it's okay to switch jobs around and if it is like really impacting you, go see a therapist and talk to them about it because a ton of people go through this. Life changes are really hard and when you've had the title of student for 10 plus years, it can be really weird to no longer be a student and just be a person <laughs> that can do anything. Um, it's intimidating, it's very intimidating. Even after applying that foundation on top, check out that just effervescent glow. 
I've also transitioned to using makeup sponges, which is new. I just really like how natural the texture looks when you use a sponge, which I know everyone says I'm just fine. It's fine. Next, gonna apply some Glossier Stretch Concealer. I also wear this in shade G11, and I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand. I've used this concealer a couple times, and I think applying it with a sponge versus applying it with your fingers really helps with getting more coverage out of it because it is a lightweight, light coverage concealer, maybe like medium coverage, but if you do want more coverage in some areas, put it on with a sponge and put it on your hand and it really, really helps. Got a lot of questions about future plans for work. What am I doing for work? Um, if you didn't know, I am a contracted freelancer and I actually work at Playboy, which I haven't formally said online yet. So now you know, I've been working there since July, so that's about five months, which is crazy, time flies. But I honestly really love it. I've had so much fun designing and creating things for them. I've just had a lot of like creative freedom and I feel really inspired by the people around me. Everyone is so smart and talented and just it's it's been amazing, honestly. And I've always loved the brand. I'm wearing my vintage necklace that I've had for like way over a year. So it was it just worked out really well. Um, but as far as future plans for work go, it's a contracted job, so it's not necessarily like full-time or forever. I don't know what the future holds for me, if I'm gonna work at a different company or if I'm just gonna work for myself. Uh, I'll let you guys know, obviously, take you along on the journey with me. You can really tell which of these products are new and which ones are old because this cloud paint is so dirty, so loved. Uh, this is the cloud paint in Dusk, which I really love. It's kind of like a brownie warm pink. It basically acts as a blush and a bronzer at the same time. Like you never have to worry about applying too much because you can always sheer them out even more. I love this blush. My sister loves this blush. My mom loves this blush. Can't go wrong. What are your thoughts on hustle culture? Do you feel the pressure of it? I think it's pretty impossible not to feel it. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily pressure I put on myself or pressure I feel because of the industry that I'm in, but I always feel like I'm not doing enough and that I can be doing more and that I should be doing more and that other people are doing more than me. But I've also always been that way, so I don't know if it's necessarily a product of hustle culture, but I know that I'm definitely affected by it or that it makes how I feel worse. From one intense question to now putting on eyeliner, this is the Glossier Play Color Slide in the color Magic Carpet, and it's beautiful. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand so you can see it more brightly, but it is a shimmery, burgundy, it's gorgeous. I really, really like it. Currently holding the mirror between my knees to be able to get this on, but worth it. There you have it, there's one eye done. Uh, I love this color, that's why I'm applying it a little bit thicker than I might normally, just to show off the color, because it's so pretty and it's like, I don't have anything on the lid, so it's really the highlight of the whole look. I'm gonna use my sponge with a bit of leftover concealer to make that point a little sharper, but it's super easy. I am also applying Glossier Lash Slick, which is a very lengthening mascara. It's great for the lower lashes. I just tend to layer it a few times on the top lashes. Like I'll just let it dry and then layer it up again because I like my lashes thick, okay? I like them thick. I like can't focus on anything when I'm putting on mascara. Also, I have freckles like on my cheeks and under my eyes that I usually can't see when I wear full coverage concealer. Everyone just wants to cover up their under eyes, but I think it's kind of nice to see some of the veins and some of the freckles. It's more natural, definitely more natural. Got some questions about managing finances as a young adult in LA, and I plan to make an entire video on that. I also just filmed a what I spend in a week, which is a really interesting little video that's been going around on YouTube. I've seen so many people make it, and so I'm looking forward to talking a little bit more about finances. In my experience, it feels like a lot of people my age don't know enough about money, don't know enough about credit cards, how to save their money. I hope that financial literacy becomes a trend in 2020 because it kind of seems like it is with these like what I spend in a weeks and people talking about their various streams of income on YouTube. But I did gather you guys' questions on finance 
finances on Instagram. So if you're interested in a video, it'll probably be coming. I'll try my best to not make it too dry and boring for you. Time for highlighter. I am using the Glossier Play Night Shine in Pale Pearl. I love this product. I bought it a few months ago and I've been using it every day since. Honestly, with how glowy my skin looks from the Future Dew and the foundation, you could just leave it like this, but if you want to take it up a notch, which obviously I do, just top it off with some of the Night Shine. And I always highlight the brow bone when I don't have any products on my lid because it just finishes off the eye look, I feel. So don't forget that. Another question that deserves an entire video, all they said was, veganism and this is something that again I should make a whole video on. I make a ton of what I eat in a week and you guys can tell I'm obviously a plant-based eater and I have been for what's gonna be four years next month. It's one of the best things I've done for myself and something I'm very passionate about so it's there it is but I never want to come across as preachy and I never want to make anyone feel bad um, and I also wouldn't consider myself a vegan. I consider myself plant-based which essentially means the same thing uh, but I do occasionally buy and wear leather uh, mostly secondhand but still I know that that's a very big difference. I still on occasion use products that aren't cruelty free. All of the products today are cruelty free. Yeah so maybe I'll make a longer video on it in the future but the thing I always want to stress is just that it's better to try than not try at all. It's okay not to be perfect and not to be a hundred percent vegan, a hundred percent zero waste. Like try not eating dairy, eat an impossible burger. Um, that's better than doing nothing and we shouldn't shame people that are trying their best. So those are my two cents on the subject. Just had to go and grab my purse because all of my lip products were in there and they're all Glossier. So I'm gonna share those with you guys. We have a basically empty bomb.com. This is what I use every single day to moisturize. I have a red tinted lip gloss. I love this product but I don't know if I need more red so I'm gonna go with these two and this is my favorite combo I've talked about it before but this is the Glossier Generation G in cake it's just a wonderful sheer lipstick and then just and then I have one last question because I thought it was really sweet and they asked what are my favorite simple pleasures in life cooking onions and garlic before starting a recipe that is my favorite smell. That is my favorite feeling. It's so relaxing just to sit there and stir them. I love that. Maybe that's just me. I'm topping off that lipstick with a little bit of clear gloss as well, just because we have so much glow going on. It only makes sense to put a little on the lips. Seeing my family dog at home is another favorite simple pleasure. And of course, when you get a latte in a mug and you just get to hold it and take the first sip and it's all warm on the outside, that's my favorite. I love that. So that is the completed Glossier makeup look. Super easy. A ton of these products you can apply with your hands, which I love. And if you're interested in checking out any of these products I talked about, specifically check out the future do um, i will link them in the description for you guys so you can try them out yourself and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't and i will be back soon with a new video bye guys